Hey guys, today I want to give you a tour of Boogie's house. It was designed by me. It, everything that you're about to see was done in one day from the design to the creation of this house. The first thing you'll notice is that the house is made up by two large volumes. The reason I did that was because from watching Boogie's content, I realized that he has two personalities. He has Boogie and he has Francis. So in the actual design, the concept of the house, I wanted to reflect that. That's why you'll see two main volumes split by a trellis down the center. This trellis also allows natural, sun natural sunlight to enter the interior of the house. The facade is pretty clean. It's done that way in order to keep the overall volume, the massing of the house. And then on the back, he'll have his own pool and he'll have double height spaces to be able to get as much sunlight inside the house. So let's look at the floor plans. Floor plans are not really super easy to understand and they're not very exciting, but this is the best way to understand what is going on inside. So the front of the house is located here. He would have the main entrance. He has a two car garage, which connects to a corridor, which connects the main space of the house. To the left, you're gonna see a living room. Here, Boogie can watch his YouTube videos and he can play video games. And then just below that, he has an open showroom. So I've noticed through his videos that he has a lot of memorabilia that he gets from his fans or from events that he attends. He'll be able to put these here. And when people walk in, his guests can actually look at all the stuff that he has and you can show it off and talk about it. So that'll be, that'll be pretty cool. Everything else is pretty standard. He has a kitchen and a dining area and storage for that kitchen. So, Let's go upstairs and see what else is going on. On the second level, you come up the stairs and there's this corridor here that has windows on both sides, floor to ceiling windows. And he has a master bedroom. He would have a master bathroom that overlooks the backyard. Down here, he's gonna have an exercise room because I've seen his weight loss journey and it's been an incredible one. So I would like for him to have a place that he can work out every day and be able to keep losing weight or maintain his weight. On the left side, you're gonna notice two rooms. One is labeled Boogie's room and one is labeled Francis room. These are the spaces where he's gonna be recording his YouTube content. When he's Boogie, he's gonna be recording in here. He'll be able to have all the stuff that reflects that persona. And then when he's being Francis, he can decorate that room a different way so that people who are watching his content are more in tune with the persona that he's creating. Let's look at 3D sections that I've made. This is a, a little bit easier way to understand what is going inside the house. So like I said, this is the main entrance here. What I've done is that I cut the house in half so you can see what's going on inside a little bit more clearly. Uh, the trellis that I spoke of that's located at the top, it's made up of beams that run from side to side. What that does is that it allows natural sunlight to flood the space. So throughout the day, he's gonna have more than enough light. And when you go up the stairs, you can see that gym that I was talking about and his master bedroom with some awkwardly designed night tables. Uh, on the other side, so here's the main entrance like I stated before. He has that corridor that connects Francis' room and Boogie's room. Let me see if I can bring it so you can see it a little bit in 3D. And then you'll notice that he has floor to ceiling windows here on, on, on both sides of that room. And that's so he can watch Francis, Boogie can watch Francis doing his work and Francis can watch Boogie doing his work and at the same time there's a space in the middle it's a covered balcony that allows Boogie to reflect if he's having a tough time recording if he needs a breath of fresh air in the middle he can access this space and be able to enjoy some of the the, the natural elements located outside of the house and this is a three-dimensional rendering of what that space would look like so this is Boogie's office looking into Francis' office. When you walk inside the house for the first time, this is the view you're gonna have. You're gonna have views straight to the back of the house. You're gonna see toward the top that trellis element that I've designed, which is allowing natural sunlight to flood the area. And then on the left side, you see the TV room that I made for him. This is a rendering from the front of the house. You're gonna notice the two volumes that are being separated down the middle and it looks like a fortress. It's, it's meant to be designed in a way that Boogie, when he's inside his house, he has very little connection to the outside world. 
I don't personally know Boogie, so if I was to sit down with him and actually talk about the design of his own house, I'm sure it would be a completely different design. This is something that I did for fun, it was a fun exercise, and I plan on doing them for other people that I watch on YouTube. And just to reiterate, there's going to be a lot of mistakes that you notice, there's going to be a lot of issues, keep in mind this was done in one day, it was just done for fun, but I do want to know what you guys think about it overall. Are there any spaces that you would have added that I didn't add? Are there any spaces that you would have removed that I did add? I'm really curious to see what hardcore fans of Boogie would say about this design. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time.